Hi, I'm Louis Gentile. I'm a Situate resident here. And this is the uh, Newtonian telescope, which was generously donated by the Astronomical League to the Situate Library for the purpose of lending out to patrons of the library. And uh, this will just be a brief uh, description of how to use this telescope. And uh, first of all, there's a lens cap here, which needs to be removed, and another one on the eyepiece, which needs to be removed for the, for the use of the telescope. The, the light comes in, or the target is, comes in from this end of the scope and is reflected off of a mirror, and then another mirror, and then up through this eyepiece. And you view through the eyepiece here. This is an aiming device for the telescope. And by aiming the scope, you look through little peepholes here and aim at the moon or a star or, or a planet. And once, you've, once you have aimed the scope, you, make, you, you view through here and make slight adjustments till you have the object centered in the scope. There is a zoom eyepiece here, which you t t in order to change the magnification, you simply turn this uh, gnarled uh, knob. The large number on the, on the indicated on the eyepiece indicates the lowest power. You, for aiming the scope, you use the lowest power. You get the object, like the moon, in the scope. Once you have it in there, you turn this knob, which focuses the image. And you can wear glasses or, or not. It doesn't matter. And uh, till you get it in focus. Once you have it in focus and everything is lined up, then you can turn the knob, which will change the magnification and get the image closer. So you can go from an image of the entire moon to individual craters by turning this knob. When you bring this scope home or in your backyard, you have to set it down on a flat, level, solid surface, like this table, like your picnic table at home or something like that. And one, thing, one word of extreme caution, never ever, under any circumstances, aim this telescope towards the sun. And the scope is not designed generally to be used during the daylight hours. So if you aim it towards the sun and you, and you look through the eyepiece, you can cause permanent eye damage instantly. So please, don't ever aim it towards the sun. Now, when aiming the scope is, is simple, it, it rotates on the base, and it rotates, it lifts up and down in uh, altitude. And it, you can twirl it around, and, and it'll, uh, you can aim it in any, any direction. I'll do that again. Uh, this, this is low magnification with the high number and high magnification with the low number. This is the focusing knob. Once you have the object centered, you turn this knob and adjust it so that it's in focus for your, your own vision. This is the device used for aiming. The little, you, you view through this hole and this hole and you line it up with your object, the moon or whatever. This is the aiming device. This telescope is a Newtonian design. It uses two mirrors. There's a four and a half inch mirror there that gathers the light. That th the light is gathered and then reflected off another smaller mirror. And then finally up through the eyepiece where you view. A and upon returning the telescope, please, you know, put the lens cap back on. And there will be a, a, a padded bag provided with the scope for, for transporting the, the telescope. If you have any questions as to what is visible in the sky whatever evening you, you decide to re take the scope out, this library has a great resource, many, plenty of books that will describe where to look and when. And uh, please, this, that's what the library is for, for your information and enjoyment and education. If you, if you need some further information about this telescope or using any telescope, you can access our, uh, the club website, which is ssastros.org, or you can ask here at the library about uh, public viewing events which are sponsored by the library and the, uh, the Social Astronomical Society.